This notebook will show us how to use the Zinc PSGPIO from Pink. The PSGPIO are simple wires from PS to PL. They can be used to connect simple control signals or to collect status from the PL. We close this to give some more space. The hardware design we'll be using is very simple. I've just connected the PSGPIO directly to external pins. They'll be connected to the PMOD pins on the Crea Vision Kit. I've connected some external peripherals to make this example a little bit more interesting. So through the PMOD via a pink Grove adapter, I have an LED, I have a buzzer, and I have a slider. I also have an LED on the slider itself. I'll now switch on the webcam and you can see these peripherals running on the live hardware that this notebook is running on. The first step is to download the overlay. The bitstream and related files are in a directory local to this folder, so I'll download that bitstream with the pink overlay class. I'll be using the pink GPIO class, so my next step is to import this. From pink, import GPIO. My next step might be to find out to check the help for this GPIO class. So I can do that in the notebook and I can read and find out more information about this class. Actually, we see that this class wraps the Linux GPIO SysFS API. What that means is I need to provide an index for the GPIO that I get from the OS, and I need to provide the direction if I want to use this GPIO as an input or an output. Let me hide this for now. And you can see I've pre-filled in some of this code and smaller snippets of code I'll type live. So I have some code here to create Python objects for the buzzer, the LED, the slider, and that LED on the slider. And you can see the pink GPIO class has a method called get GPIO pin, which will do the mapping from the Linux sysfs to something that we can use from pink. So now I have my Python objects, my next step might be to check out the help for the write function that I might want to use. We can see this is a very simple function. I'm only going to pass an integer value, either a zero or a one, to write a logic high or a logic low to this GPIO. So let's try to turn on the LED by writing a uh, one. And we see the LED turns on. And I can turn it off in a similar way by writing a zero. Okay, and I can do something a little bit more interesting by using the Python time class. Uh, I'm setting a delay and I'll do a simple blinky example with the LED write function. Okay, so moving on to the slider, which is an input, I can read from the slider. The slider is actually an analog slider going from zero to 3.3 volts. Um, as it passes through that voltage range and reaches the logic threshold, we'll read it through the GPIO as either a logic zero or a logic one. So we can see in this position, it's logic one. And if I move the position of the slider to somewhere near the other end, and if I rerun that code, I can see it now reads zero. And again, something more interesting, I have a loop. I will read the slider value. I will write that value back to the LED on the slider itself and also to our main LED. And I'll do that inside a loop. So if I run this code, you can see as I move the slider that the LED will turn on and off once it reaches that logic threshold. I can do something similar with the buzzer. So I can write a one and you can hear a noise and I'll turn that off pretty quickly because I don't want to listen to it for too long. Um, again, something more interesting, I can generate a function to play a tone. I could do something simple like an alarm clock example. I could also introduce an IPython widget to control the buzzer. So you can see that this is a relatively small amount of code to generate a simple uh, interface that I can use to control the buzzer. So you can see that as I change the frequency, the function will play a tone for a short duration. I can specify a slightly longer duration too. That concludes this example. So you saw how the pink GPIO class can be used to control those zinc PSGPIO as a very simple way of sending control signals to the PL and receiving status back.